Alright, today we're going to talk about dividing fractions. You have myself, you have KV. Hi. Lucinda. Lucinda. What? Say hi. Oh, hi. Kyle. Hi. Maura. Hi. Chris. Hi, Yos. And Cole. Bro. They are going to be helping us out today as we make our video. So let's take a look at our first example. We have 5 divided by 1 fourth. This means we want to know how many 1 fourths there are in 5. So when we're doing this as 5th graders, we want to make sure we draw our model. So, KV, tell us, how many holes do I want to draw? 5. 5. So that's what we're going to start out with. We're going to draw 5 um, squares. I'm just going to clone mine so that they're all the same. When you're doing your drawing, um, it's okay if they're a little different. Okay, so I'm going to make five of my holes. Now my second number in my equation tells me how many pieces I want to divide each hole into. Cole, how many pieces do I want to divide each hole into? One fourth. So I want to divide them each into fourths. So I'm going to draw three lines. So everybody on your whiteboards, go ahead and make this model. If you're watching this at home, do it on a separate piece of paper. Now since we're fine, we want to know exactly how many one-fourths we have. We just cut these up into fourths, correct? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So we want to count them now to find out how many fourths there are all together. So let's go ahead and number them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So how many fourths are there in five holes, Kyle? I'm 20. 20. So our answer is 20. Okay, when we're doing this, you're going to end up with a whole number. We wanted to know how many fourths, well, we just counted it up. There are 20 of these little one-fourth pieces in five holes. Okay. Okay, now what's going to happen if we do the opposite and we start with a fraction? Um, are we going to start off by drawing four pictures? No. 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 no, just one, because we want one-fourth. We want to show one-fourth. So everybody go ahead and draw your box. Now, if I want to show one-fourth, I'm just drawing a picture of one-fourth. Maura, how much do I want to break that up into? Fourths. Fourths. Good. So one, two, three-fourths. How many of my fourths do I want to shade in? One. One section of them, right? Because I want to show one fourth. So I'm going to shade in one fourth. Okay, that, we, this is that. Okay, one fourth. Now we want to break up our one fourth into how many pieces? Okay? Five. Five. So we're going to go ahead and draw four lines across because that's going to break it up into our five groups, right? One, two, three, four, five groups. So we have five equal groups right now. We want to look at only one of those equal groups to start us off. So I find it easiest just to look at that top group. Okay, we're looking at one of the groups. You could have definitely looked at a middle group if you wanted to, but it makes uh, it's way easier for yourself to look at the top group. So if we're looking at that top group, how many are shaded in of my top group? Lucinda. One fourth. Well, we have one, right, shaded in of our top group. Now here's where people go wrong. They say, well, we have one fourth, Mrs. B. That's, how many, that's our answer. No, it's not. That's what we started out with. Oh. We want to now count our total number of squares that we have here. So our total number of squares that we have here, Cole? Is 16. No. Total, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, what, how many? 20. 20, there we go, he caught himself. 
the total number of squares becomes our denominator. Guys, I want you to think of it like this. You and four friends, so five people total, show up to a party late. The birthday cake has already been served, and there's only one fourth of that entire cake left. Just this, this piece right here, that's the amount of cake left. You have to cut it amongst the five of you, right? You have to be um, fair and share it equally. So you cut it up, and then you're like, man, we should have come earlier. Because right now, I'm only getting this tiny little piece of cake. Okay, you're figuring out what fraction of the entire cake you got. So your fraction, your piece of the cake was 1 20th. Your brother's piece of the cake, 1 20th. Your mom's piece of the cake, 1 20th. Your dad's piece of the cake, 1 20th. And we'll say your grandma's piece of the cake, 1 20th. Okay, everybody got 1 20th of the cake. Now, what happens, though, if we change our numerator so it's not a unit fraction anymore? Well, we're going to start this off the exact same way. So we want to start off by drawing our holes. So how many holes do I want to draw? Chris? Three. Three. So go ahead, everybody, and on your whiteboards, draw three holes. Yes. Okay, we've drawn our three holes. Now remember, our denominator of our fraction tells us how many pieces to cut it into. So who can tell me how many pieces do I want to cut my each hole into? Mora? Two. No, look oh, at my de three. denominator. Oh, three. Three. So I'm going to cut each of these into thirds. We're cutting it into thirds because our denominator is three. Now, last time, let me just scroll back for a second. When we did this one, we were counting how many one-fourths we had. This time, we want to count how many groups of two we have. Okay, so we're going to count by twos. These two go together, right? So that's our first group. These two go together. That's our second group. These two go together. That's our third group. These two go together. That's our fourth group. Oh, and then we have a leftover. Yeah. Now what happens when we do that? Well, we have four holes, right? That becomes our whole number. We were counting by groups of two, correct? We only have one out of our next group of two, so how am I going to write that as a fraction? One out of two. How would I write that as a fraction? One out of two, Kyle? Yeah. Four and one half. Yeah, one out of two, okay? Wow. Four and one half. So if we were dividing that, that's what we would get, okay? Why is it not one third, even though we started off by breaking it into thirds? Because we're looking now at groups of two. We cut it into two. Yeah, we want to, we're paying attention to how many groups of two we get. And right here, we only have one out of our next group of two. Okay, so those ones can be a little tricky. On your tests, you're most likely only going to be dealing with unit fractions, but it's a great idea to know how to do this. Now let's look at what happens if we start off with our fraction piece again. Okay, we're not starting off with our holes, with like five holes. We're starting off with um, just one, right? So we're going to draw one hole, and who can tell me, what do I want to break my one hole into to represent two-thirds? How am I going to represent two-thirds? How am I going to show two-thirds? KV? Yeah, you got to break it up into three. Yeah, I'm going to break it up into three parts. And KV, how many of those parts am I going to shade in? Um, two. Good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to shade in two of those parts. Okay, shading in two of those parts because that's showing us. Oops, oops, oops. Come on. There you go. That's showing us two thirds. So that's the first part. We now want to divide it into how many equal groups? Kyle. Four. 
Three. Three equal groups. So we're going to do that going across. There's our first equal group, and there's our second equal group. Okay, one equal group, two equal groups, three equal groups. Now again, we only want to look at one of those equal groups. So we're going to look up there. How many of those equal, how many of those do I have shaded in? Mara. I don't know. So we have two. But it's two nights. And how many total boxes are there, Mora? Six. Total, not just shaded in, total of our, of our whole? Nine. Nine. Remember, you want to think about it like cake. Okay, just keep thinking the cake analogy. I'm sorry if it makes you hungry. Okay? You want to keep thinking while you show up somewhere, there's only this much of the cake, but you want to know how much of the whole cake you actually get to eat. Yep. Okay? okay. All right, let's do another one. Remember, guys, if you're watching this video at home, you can definitely pause the video at any time. We have now 2 divided by 3 fourths. So, who can tell me how many holes do I have to draw here for my model? Hole 2. 2. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw 2 holes. <coughs> now that I've drawn my 2 holes, what do I want to break my holes up into? Chris. Uh, fourths. Fourths. Because remember, that denominator tells us how many to break it up into. So we're going to break it up into fourths. Now, last time when we did this, we looked at how many groups of two we could do. This oh. time, what do we want to look at? Lucinda. How many groups of two? Three. Yeah, we want to look right here. How many groups of three? Well, let's count them out. There's one group. There's two groups. Do I have enough to make my next group? No. No. So I have two whole groups, and then how much do I have of my next group of three here? Lucinda? Two fourths. My next group of three. So I have two out of what? I want to make only a group of three. Two-thirds? Yeah. Two oh. out of three. Out of my next group. Okay, remember because I'm making groups of three. So our answer would be two and two-thirds. Okay, because you want to know how much of your next group of three do you have. All right, let's do one more. Three-fourths divided by two. Who can um, tell me what am I going to start off with in this, Kyle? Um, you're going to start out with drawing four boxes. No, three boxes. Four boxes. Four. Now, wait a second, though, because I'm only starting off with three-fourths of a whole. So do I need to draw three boxes, or can I just draw one box? One box. There we go. So I want to draw my one box. Now, I want to start off by showing three-fourths. So how much do I want to break my one box up into, Chris? Um, fourths. Yep. And I'm going to shade in how many? Um, <coughs> three. Three of them, good. Yep, three. So we're going to shade in three. Okay, shading in three of our fourths. And what's the um, next step, KB? Um, you got, you got to, um, break it into a half. Yeah, into two groups. We're going to look at that top group. How many are shaded in in my top group, Kyle? Three. And Mora, how many total do I have there? Eight. Eight, so that's our answer. Three eights. Remember, you can always um, check your work with keep, change, flip. So I would keep three fourths. Change the division to a multiplication, flip two to one half, and I'm still going to get three eighths. That's a good way to check your work. Hope that helps. Say bye. 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 bye.